Okay then. Let's get let's get a move on, shall we? Hey Pete, you ready to come by the foundation? Sure. I'm excited to see what you're up to. Great. I'm excited to show you. Oh, gotta grab this call from NJ. See you soon. Hey, how you doing? Good. Just got off the phone with Harry, and this foundation thing could be interesting. Oh, nice. Some hope on my work front, too. I dug into the tech that gang used to mess with the prison transfer. It's DARPA-level stuff. Yeah. Whoever's behind them has a ton of resources. Miles thinks he saw their leader. Some kind of big game hunter, fur vest-looking guy. Interesting. I'll keep digging. If I can get this story on the front page, it might help us track him down faster. Maybe save my job, too. All right. Anyways, sorry for the long silence there. <laughs> Welcome back to more of Marvel's Spider-Man 2. And um, last episode, we completed all the Brooklyn Vision missions. And now we're going to be going straight uh, to... Uh, uh, we're going to be continuing on with the story. Oh wow! This place looks um, this place looks fancy. Wow! I was wondering what this place was. Emily's tree. This is perfect. You made it. So I thought you said this was a startup. Yeah, I was hoping for something a little less this, but my dad was the one who, you know, he made all the arrangements. Peter and... Parker. <laughs> so, what do you think? The far cry from that chop shop that Otto had you in. <laughs> and now that you're on board, this place is really gonna start cooking. Wow. Such an amazing place. Uh, Dad, Pete hasn't decided he's joining yet. Oh. Really? But I was gonna give him a tour. Let him... Aside for himself. All right. You know, seeing you boys together again. Right then. <laughs> Let's go exploring. So the first thing I want to show you is downstairs. Harry, this place, right? Dad went a little more over the top than I would have liked. How did you? We got things set up while I was still undergoing treatment, but when I got out, I made a few changes. Like what? Diverted my salary into research projects, installed a diverse board to keep us on the right track, and made sure all research aligned with our mission, to heal the world. First, I want you to meet Dr. Young, who's a leading entomologist. You know what entomology is? Yeah. Dr. Young is doing this super cool research on bees. Or, to be more precise, on bee predators. Yes, this is Catherine. Who may I ask is calling? Oh, of course. Come through. Here, follow me. Entomology. Interesting Ready stuff Ready to talk here. to Dr. Young? You must be Peter. So nice to meet you. I think you'll like this project. Great to meet you, Dr. Young. Harry says you're working with bees. Yes, and it's quite an urgent situation. A full third of the food you eat every day comes from crops pollinated by bees. But worldwide populations are in steep decline, primarily due to a significant predator, the carnivorous bee wolf. So we developed an innovative way to help the bees. Want to see how? 
Wait a minute, that, that, the controller looks like a PlayStation controller. These little drones are essentially bee bodyguards that were training to detect and attack users. AKA, bee killer wasps. And you're helping with the machine learning algorithm. Do you see those little holographic bee wolves? The better you are at shooting them, the better our drones get at recognizing what to target. The idea is for the drones to scare the bee wolves away. Oh, oh, nice! Very productive session. We got great data. Okay, flying home. Oh my god, this thing actually walks? Okay, that's kind of cool. I like how they're using a PlayStation controller for if this. those virtual bee wolves you just took out were real, you'd have saved the lives of about 2,500 bees. Wow. I'd love to help any way I can. I could take a look at juicing the neural network speed. Oh, yes, please. Maybe if Pete decides to join us, you two can talk some more. Thanks, Dr. Young. Nice. I've got so much more to show you, Pete. Let's go. Now, up ahead is the medical research area. We're doing cutting-edge proton beam work, using protons instead of x-rays, with better targeting and less radiation. It's all the stuff we talked about. All the stuff we dreamed could make the world a better place. That's the idea. Harry, a moment, if you please. Uh, any chance I can wait a sec? It'll be quick. Thank you. Uh, Doc, this is my friend Peter. Peter, Dr. Connors. We've actually met. I used to work with Dr. Octavius. You came to the lab once to consult on electrotactile stimuli. Oh, yes. <laughs> it's a shame about Dr. Octavius. His work had so much promise. Any changes since this morning? <laughs> Dizziness, aches, pains, anxiety, impulsive thoughts. <laughs> nope. I've never been better. That's what worries me. Nice to see you again. Your doctor is the lizard. Dad believes in second chances. Oh, hey, listen, what the heck? Call, but, uh, Why did that guy just floor? appear like that? He literally yeah. just... He was like invisible, but then he came into frame. That, that was weird. So that was crazy. But it seems to be working for everyone to have Dr. Connors here. Guess I'll look around. Okay. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Oh. Wait a minute. Nice. Seems inspired by some of Otto's work without the hardwiring problems. Wonder if Dr. Connors has used this. Though after that lizard rampage, he may be done testing his work on himself. This is the original prototype from Otto's lab. This would have been crime scene evidence. Wonder how it ended up here. Interesting. Oh, what's this? I don't think I saw this when I ever play through. The origins of life on Earth remain a mystery. How could organic life forms have arisen from non-biological chemical compounds? Recent discoveries of meteorites containing organic molecules considered the building blocks of life may provide a potent clue. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. Okay, we can enter through those doors. What's this? Some kind of radiation treatment, maybe? Wonder if this is what they used for Harry's treatment. Let's see what's going on here. Maybe I can help. Oh yeah, that would take a while. <laughs> I'm not sure there's time to dig in now, but I'd sure like to come back and work on this later. So many cool things here. Yeah. Hey, whenever you're ready, come meet me up here. I'm on my way. I'll see you in a sec. The need for medical organ transplants far outnumbers available donors. 
An innovative solution uses 3D printing technology to create custom replacement organs, decreasing the likelihood of transplant rejection and increasing the chances of a successful outcome. Here at the Emily May Foundation, this cutting edge work is being put to use saving lives. Huh. Interesting. Didn't know that could be a thing, but... Is there anything else I was missing here? Oh yeah, um... This computer here. Looks like Connors is putting the research he did after he lost his arm to good use. I wonder if he regrets testing that serum on himself. It must be unnerving walking around with dormant lizard DNA in your body. But why is my controller rumbling whenever I'm near this area? Alright, um... Anything else in here? Drones? Yeah, uh, doing a little cross-collaboration between the energy lab and the agricultural lab. Ultralight drones, using the new battery tech for crop monitoring. Very cool. Do they collect crop data too? They will, by the time we're done with them. That's awesome. Thanks. All right. All right. So we can actually use that little mini game again to like test out the drones once more, but. Oh yeah, these bikes. <laughs> hey, what are you doing with these bikes? We're working on ultra efficient batteries charged by bicycles. These bikes. Can I ride hmm. them? Not right now, but when they're road ready, we'll need people to test them. Nice. Oh, nice. I'll try to come back. Okay. All right. Now we can go up to the second floor. I'm pretty sure I looked at everything down there. If I do miss a couple things, I do apologize. All right, let's see what this is. You really have a particle accelerator? We use it to send proton beams to that treatment room downstairs. It's being repaired right now, but I'll have it back up. <sighs> Sorry if I'm yawning much. It's like 7 a.m. Oh, hmm. Where are we heading now? Up to the top floor. Your energy seems really good, Harry. I feel great. So put your way back helmet on and think back. Even before high school. <laughs> what was that slow turn that Harry okay. did? Now, do you know the... Hang on. You're a popular guy. Sorry, it's just my tutoring job. You were saying? You know the stuff everyone studies in middle school with Gregor Mendel and the pea plants? Yeah, I think so. About genetics and plant hybridization? Exactly. So, Dr. Foster up ahead, he's won every top prize in the field for his work with plant genetics. Wow. Hey, when you were walking around, did you have a chance to feed the fish? No, I didn't. Oh, you have to. It's seriously one of my favorite spots in the whole building. It's so calming, and that we're doing cool research inspired by the cellular structure of the koi fish's scales. I'll be sure to go check that out. I don't know. Is that actually a thing you can do? I'm not sure. The algorithm is similar to long division. This way, dude. Dr. Foster. Thanks, Dr. Foster. Ah, Peter, I presume. Harry talks about you frequently. So nice to meet you. Dr. Foster is working on agricultural efficiency. With the population growing and the climate changing unpredictably, we need to adapt more quickly than nature normally would. Genetic recombination can customize crops to best meet these new challenges, be it extreme weather or an increase in pests. Would you like to see this test bed? Okay. The idea is to tweak a plant's genes to maximize optimal qualities. For instance, oh, yeah. a plant that can thrive in drought conditions. In our simulation, the goal is to maximize growth. Why don't you practice on this? Okay. Nice. So these are the kind of missions that you, these are one of the few missions you do. Great. 
Now you're ready to try the real thing. Okay. This is a plant we're working on to grow well in drought conditions. Corporations patent GMO seeds for profit and are rightly criticized. But ours are open source, developed for sustainability instead of financial gain. So smart. All right. One step nice. closer to feeding the world. <laughs> nice work. Listen, I know you're not officially on, but could you look at one more gene for me? It's curious to get your take on it. It's a crop specifically adapted to urban gardens. Of course. Okay, um... Maybe Interesting. this... Beautiful work, Peter. Oh. Success. Nice. Using this technology, we're on track to end world hunger by 2035. Wow. I know a rooftop you could use for a real world test if you're interested. Oh, very much so. Harry was right. You'll be a real asset here. Thank you, Dr. Foster. <gasps> So now Jeez. we're last stop. Might be my favorite. It's commanding, but not overbearing. Playful, but not tasteless. Impressive, but not show off. Your office. Or is it our office? Harry, now remember, the things you've seen today are just a small taste of what we're working on. But don't decide just yet, not till you've seen this last thing. Okay. Come on, where's your badge? You'll need it to get in. Uh, where did I... Put it. Don't tell me you lost. Nope, false alarm. Right here. <gasps> Go ahead. Okay. Swipe. Wow. Nice. <laughs> oh, man. Harry. This is all so amazing. It's perfect, really. It's just... Things are really hectic right now. When I was in treatment, all I could think about was... What would I do if I survived? And I kept hearing my mom's voice telling me that our planet is in trouble. And it's my responsibility to save it. Oh, wow. You join me? There's so much more that we can do. I mean, we both know you're the smarter one. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Let's make my mom and Nate proud, huh? All right. Oh, gosh. Amazing. If there's one thing. Can I move my desk over there? I like to face the wall when I work. <laughs> oh, one quick thing. <laughs> That's amazing. <sighs> I, I'm, I'm going to need a little time to transition out of my tutoring job. Of course. Take whatever time you need. It's all about balance, right? Yeah. Oh. But Coney Island later, yeah? <laughs> you bet. All right. Some of our researchers have field experiments set up around the city. 
If you have time, check them out. I've sent you the locations, and your badge will grant you access. All right, I'll swing by. All right, um... Hey, oh. sorry I didn't get back to you before, but I was... I just got a new job. For real? Well, that's awesome. Where's it at? This new foundation run by my best friend. It's... it's incredible. But I can fill you in later. What's up? The guys who took Lee and Scorpion? Genki and I tracked the exhaust trails from their aircraft to the Williamsburg Bridge. I'll meet you there. Hold on, don't you have an essay to finish? Yeah, but your duty calls. Trust me, your duty is to your future right now. I'll keep you updated on anything I find. All right, good luck out there. Okay. Let's do this other story mission and we'll call it a part. I'm trying to be sure that um, this episode won't be as long as the previous one, because oh my god. 40 minutes for the um, Brooklyn Don't Vision see Academy. Bad guys. Maybe Miles and Genki had it wrong? Hey, I'm at the bridge. There's no sign of our mysterious safari pirates. Oh, man, we were sure it was there. Sorry about the wild goose chase. Don't sweat it. We'll find him. Glittering? Come on, man. Oh. Huh. Huh. An invisible force field. some answers. Okay, birdie. Take me to your nest. I'm gonna miss these chases when I'm an Emily May. The adrenaline, going through the city like it's an obstacle course, never gets old. Getting to do real science, though, for actual money. Oh my god, I finally did it. I have a stable career. Okay, cool it, Parker. You can daydream about those fat science stacks later. Time to oh. chase. Oh, that was close. Hope you have renter's insurance. Crap, crap, crap. Okay. All right, all right. Uh... And you won't get away! Uh -huh. No, 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 no! Nice cloaking tech. Mind if I take a look under the hood? I'll take that as a no. <laughs> It's too close now. I wonder if I can get my suit to identify their visual frequencies. Right. I don't see your boss around. Where's he hiding? I want to talk to him about his lifestyle choices. You are not worthy of his attention. Shut up, lady. <laughs> Test something out. Okay. Let's see. Sorry, Birdie.
Cody, this is just as awkward for me as it is for you. There should be a... Yep. Oh, is that your home? Gonna send this location to MJ. Maybe she can dig up some building records. Where are we going now? All right. Hey, Here we Jay, are. Did you get that location data I sent you? Yeah, it's an old food market. Owner died last year. Building sold a few weeks ago. Wait, this buyer. There's some shell company that's been acquiring property all over the city. Like, whole city blocks. I tried to do a story on them last month, but the trail dried up. Every person I was talking to just huh. vanished. Go make yourselves useful. Our departure is imminent. Who are these people? I want to find out. Good luck. Here we go. That was fast. You find something? Two things. This armed group calls themselves hunters. And they've got a lot of accents. Hmm. International mercenaries? That's what I'm thinking. Could be front page material for your article. I'm writing it up now. Thanks. Oh, and speaking of work, I accepted Harry's offer. That's fantastic. We should celebrate later after you're done with your current work. Totally. Talk soon. All right, let's see. Man, this place is interesting. And sleep. Two of the blinds have stopped responding. The spider has been seen in your area. Prepare the beast. Craven. That's their leader? everyone now what were they up to hello surveillance video from the blind i was just at hmm. looks like they've got others all around the city i'll send this to ganky but he could help pinpoint these what's craven hunting and why Hungry too? Nap time. Aw, for me? You shouldn't have. Oh. Hmm, interesting. Oh, sturdy and flexible. Hmm. I wonder. Now we have the web line feature. Oh, test drive. The rounding bases are on. These guys are better equipped than most armies. This Craven guy must be rich or well connected. Both. I guess we go here. Yeah. <laughs> Poison. I've got eyes 
research lab? What's this? Hallucinogens. Probably the worst part of Scorpion's poison. Craven's adding this to his arsenal. <sighs> Aunt May was so proud of her work at Feast. May broke bad in a big way. I just hope that doesn't mean everything he ever touched was corrupted. Craven studying Lee's blood. Maybe he's trying to figure out where his powers came from. Or how to get them for himself. An inner demon mask. Lee's old superpowered gang. Craven better not be trying for the same with his hunters. Were they testing their weapons on that armor? Whoa! And not a single scratch? Hmm. Almost an exact replica. Must have been probing it for weaknesses. Can never be too careful with Scorpion. Wait a sec. Some kind of hunt. Craven the Hunter. What's he hunting? Whatever it is, it definitely involves Scorpion and Lee. Am I looking into this Craven guy in the meantime and letting Miles know what's up? Already on it. Stay safe. instead of questions right now. Oh, it's down here. That looks promising. All right, Craven. What are you looking for? Oh, wait. Okay. I get bringing Scorpion and Lee on a hunt, but my cat's a thief. Now we have a bike best in show with that attitude. Nice doggy kitty robot. Right. Ru ru <laughs> I actually don't remember that scene. No joke. Heal. Roll over. Play dead. Finally. I was wondering when animal control would show up. Actually, now that you're here, question. What's Craven hunting? Maybe I can help. It's... All right, so these robotic dogs, they are... For everyone if 
Someone just filled me in! Shoot him! Oh, that's it. Nice. It's our bike dogs. What were you protecting? Oh, it looks like I found a new uh, title for my uh, video. Scorpion, Martin Lee, Black Cat. This Craven guy's putting together quite the team. Okay, there we go. <laughs> uh, I guess we'll just watch this one off this cat scene and we'll call it apart. He's impervious to Scorpion's poison, I guess. My god. Is this the best you can do? They said you were a killer. Imagine my disappointment. <laughs> Predator dies to his own poison. pause here so that way I can just call the park because it's almost 40 minutes again. Good golly almighty. Anyways, um, I'll see you guys for the next video. Until then, uh, I'll see you guys next time.